internet welcome back to my channel today I have a really exciting video I'm super excited to unbox this I think this is the first Archer and Olive subscription box and I believe it's going to be quarterly so this is the first one and I think they'll have four every year if it's quarterly that makes sense for every year and you guys know that I'm just such a sucker for subscription boxes I just love the mystery of what could be inside um, apparently this is supposed to have around I think it was like a hundred and seventy plus US dollars worth of items but the box itself costs seventy dollars US which is actually quite expensive when you do the conversion to Australian it is pretty steep so I'm really curious to know what's inside and if it was really worth it um, in terms of shipping I ended up getting free shipping because I bought a couple extra notebooks on the side so I qualified for the free shipping threshold I'll show you guys the notebooks I picked up after I unbox this as well so yeah let's just get right into the unboxing let's see what we have in here um try to zoom out as best I can I think that's as far out as I can go so Hopefully that will be enough. So first up is a pencil case, like a mermaid pencil case. Oh, okay. You guys see that there's a strap behind this pencil case. It says it's a pouch pencil case, so maybe you can tie it onto like a notebook or something. I have I have really no idea. Or maybe you hold it like this. I don't really use pencil cases like this, so I'm not as familiar with how it works. Really good zip though, very easy to zip and yeah. It's a cute pencil case. And then, what is this? I think this, this is like a notebook potentially. Dot grid notebook. Oh, okay. It's a dot grid, 112 pages. I wonder what size this is. Let's open this up. Okay, the packaging does look a little different from the standard notebook boxes. Like, I can just show you here. This is one that I bought um, as part of my haul. Actually, they're the same size. So this might be a B6 because I actually bought a B6 notebook, but this is what they normally look like. So I'm thinking maybe the cover of this is a special edition. Ooh. Oh, it's a blackout notebook. Oh, wow. This is kind of cool. I'm a little speechless. <laughs> I would never normally buy one because I would just not know what to do with it. But now that I have one, the possibilities. Oh wow, that's so cool. It was a YouTuber I was following, can't remember now, mentioned that they were thinking of buying one to do their bullet journaling for a year. And I was just thinking how, like everything would be white and pastel, like you wouldn't be able to do watercoloring in it. It would be very restrictive, but interesting at the same time. So yeah, it is a full on blackout notebook. It's really blowing up the exposure on my camera. Oh my gosh, I never thought I would own one. And then here I am. So this is a B6 blackout dot grid notebook with, um, there's no designs on it, but oh, and check out the um, foiling on the side. That's like a rainbow foiling. That's really nice. I'm very impressed with this. And then maybe I'll pick this up. So what is this? These are pens. There we go, finally got it. I know, it just feels extra special. Oh, these are, are these water-based acrylic non-toxic? Okay, let's pull one out just to have a look. Ah, uh, I've never tried these, seen these before. I think I've seen them on their website, like kind of on the sidebar, but I've never actually clicked through to have a look. All right. So I don't know how these work. I'll try them out at the end of the video in my um, notebook and then we can see what they're like but that's yeah i've never tried these before these are new to me and then what is this it's a little box and it's uh washi tape oh wow okay we've got it upside down decorative washi tape four sets let's take a look at what the designs are So they actually, I couldn't hold it any better than have it show on the box. So you've got like a mermaid theme. I wonder if the theme was supposed to be like mermaid inspired or something. Because we've got the same mermaid like um, scales. And it's following very, like this is very Archer and Olive in my mind. In fact, this was very similar to the theme I used for my January um, 2020 bullet journal theme. You have clouds and stars and then it's just like a bunch of shapes, ra rainbows, leaves. Beautiful. 
15 millimeters wide. I wonder how long each of the washi tapes are. Doesn't really say, that's fine. I wonder if there's like an instruction panel or something. So then this one is a A5 notebook cover. I didn't even know they sell notebook covers. I probably just keep going to the notebooks and I don't even look at anything else. So, oh, okay. It's like very glittery and you can see the glitter actually moves. Let me take this plastic off. Okay, it's, I think it's literally liquid on the inside. That's gotta be how all this glitter is still moving about, right? It's a little mesmerizing, not gonna lie. So, if I open it up. Okay, it's just the front page that has all the glitter. That's kind of cool. And then we have, is this another notebook? Okay, wow. And there's some paper at the bottom. I'm just gonna pull these out and just have a quick read before I open the last item. Um, how to create, so they've got, one is how to create your own dream board, which is, I guess it's showing you how to use the items in conjunction together. And then this one is my dream board. Ah, oh, okay, maybe it's like an example of how to create a dream board. I actually don't have a dream board. Oh, maybe, I don't know. I have a board next to me that has a lot of pictures of things I've done and things I want to do. So maybe that is a dream board. So this looks more like an A5 notebook and it is an A5 dot grid notebook. So there you go. This is the, rain. Uh, I don't know. I thought this was a special, a limited edition. A notebook. I didn't realize you get two notebooks, but this one is A5. So this is the notebook. This looks like the one that I think um, uh, the Coffee Monster Co. Helen put, recently purchased for her 2021. It looks very similar to that. This is so nice. Wow. And that foiling. Oh, I love this fairy. And yet yeah, standard white bullet journal. Let me move the box actually. Now that I don't think there's anything left in the box so this will just give you a little bit of a better view. Just clean up the table. Yep that's everything in the box. So for fun let's put this cover on. So this is what it would look like with a cover on it. You know this would protect my um, notebook a lot more. <laughs> um, let me just pull it all together so you can see them like physically together. I have a lot of like boxes around now. Yeah. So what do you guys think? I'm like still not 100% sure I would go for the next quarter box. Like I really love this. I really love this. This I'm probably, I can see myself using these two quite a bit. Notebooks probably not as often, but I do love notebooks because I'll have a lot of other uses for it. I probably couldn't see myself using this particular pencil case. It's not really my aesthetic. Let's quickly try these pens and then I'll show you the two notebooks that I actually did pick up for myself. So as I said, I've not actually tried these before. I have no idea how they work. Um, when I opened it up, there was no color on the tip. So I don't know if it's something I have to press down on. It feels like a plastic tip. So maybe ink will eventually flow through. Let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So you can press the tip down. Maybe it's like one of those metallic like pens that I used to have. You know those like um they smell a bit alcoholic and you have to like push the lid down or not the lid the tip down to get some of the ink to run. Ah, I can see some of the ink coming through now. If I press it down, there you go. Can you see it? There we go. It's more of it's coming. Oh here we go. Here's the ink. So oh it's metallic. There you go. Yeah, it's super metallic. Let's try another color. So this was the silver, I think. It doesn't have a name on it. So it's just, looks like a silver pen. Let's try this darker purple. All right, let's give it a shot. Wow, okay. I wonder if they're all metallic. Well, it's not as metallic actually. Why does it look metallic to me? I don't know how to describe this ink. It's, um. It almost feels like it's paint in a pen, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel like a regular pen. It feels like there's paint in here. This 
feels like the ink's not running through. I hope I'm using it right. If I'm like destroying the pens by like pressing them down, then that's not good. It's a very similar color. It's like it's inky, but it's not. I don't know how to describe that. It's like it feels very liquid and ink. But it also feels a bit sharp, like on the tip, so I can't get like a very full coverage. It's a very bright green mint like color. See what I mean? Like the lines are very distinct. They don't kind of blend together, so it's not, I wouldn't use it for coloring. Like I don't think it would be good for coloring. These are like good for titles maybe. So yeah, that is everything in the subscription box. Let's move, uh, let me show you the notebooks that I got. So ironically, I ended up buying two notebooks. One is a B6, one is an A5. And I, I say ironic because in the subscription box, I literally got a B6 notebook and an A5 notebook. It is what it is. So the first one actually was more just to see what it would be like. This one is just a standard B6 um, notebook. There's nothing limited edition about the ones I picked up, to be honest. Um, I've already opened this and taken the paper out. Usually it comes with this you saw paper that wraps it, but I took that out. Um, just so I could show you guys this notebook. I love this moss green color. It's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. And the inside, oh, I love the size of this. This is very like travel friendly, I think. Inside is just standard white dot grid, which I'm very used to because that's the one I currently have. But the size is something I wanted to consider. I wanted to see what the size would feel like. And I love how compact it is. And then the last one is the one I think I'm going to use as my bullet journal. And if I do, then you'll see that probably in a week's time as I set up my new bullet journal. But, and I haven't actually opened this one yet. So you can see it is this dusty pink color and I love it. I'm just looking at it I'm like, oh, it's so nice. I'm so in love with this. It's another, it's a standard notebook. So there's no like foiling on the edges or anything like that. Um, but it's basically identical to this one except it's just a lighter cover oh wow it matches my nails i didn't even realize okay i've got to make sure i have the same nail polish for next week when i set it up um but it's basically exactly the same to the one i currently have just a lighter cover i went for the 192 pages because i've been in this one for the whole year of 2020 and i've put every single month in here and i have six pages left maybe six i'm not sure so i think 192 is a good number for me 160 probably would be too little and i'd probably run out all right so that is everything i picked up from archer and olive i'd love to know your thoughts on the subscription box i'm very curious to know what other people think i hope you guys enjoy the video thank you so much for watching this is selena reporting from my room back to the internet mm -hmm.